What's up everyone, in this video we're going to continue deploying VPN site to site between different vendors. On this one we'll see how to deploy a uh, site to site between Checkpoint and Cisco ASA. So we'll start configuring the Cisco ASA and then we'll jump over uh, Checkpoint Gateway. So let me bring the terminal for Cisco ASA and the configuration is blank. Uh, if we type show interface IP brief, we see that uh, I haven't configured anything yet. So we're going to begin from scratch. So first, uh, the outside interface, I'm going to type the address, it's going to be 192.168.192.1.3.254. I'm going to enable the interface and name it outside. For our inside interface, the IP will be 192.168.3.254. Going to enable it and we're going to name it uh, inside. Now we're going to set our default routes to be 192.131. Let's confirm that we can reach our gateway 131 okay that's working awesome so now we'll start creating the objects uh to represent our local network and the remote network we will establish the vpn with so we'll begin configuring the objects uh, that will be used inside the VPN. So to create object network, I'm going to name it 192.3024, subnet 192.168.30.24. And the other object will be uh, site A local network. And the subnet will be uh, one zero. Now let's begin uh, enabling um, Ike V1 on the outside interface. So keep tall Ike V1 enable outside. And now let's begin the phase one configuration the crypto. Ike v1 policy 10 and the authentication is going to be pre sure encryption as uh, hash we're going to use sha and bifi hellman we use group 2 and lifetime we're going to set a uh, default that's going to be 86 400 okay now for Tunnel group, tunnel group, and is going to be the remote IP 192.11.254, and the type is going to be IP stack site to site, and the tunnel group uh, IP sec attributes uh, will be Ike v1 pre shared key and CCIE 65745 okay that's awesome now we have to create the ACL that is going to match our interest traffic and that's going to be traffic source from our local network descending to 192.168.110 network so it's going to be access list 100 extended permit IP and from the object where is it the object objects and that's going to be 192.168.30.4 and going to the object 192.168.10 Okay, 
and now we have to create a non knot for this uh flow so it's going to be net from inside to outside and source is going to be static and sourcing from 192.168.3024 don't translate maintain uh, 192.168.3024 and the destination is going to be static for 192.168.1024 Keep it uh, 192.168.1024 and we want to add an prox arp and the route lookup. Okay, that's great. So now uh, for uh, IPsec phase 2, the crypto IPsec, uh, no, that's not IPsec, that's IPsec like v1 transform set site to site and we're going to use as and esp sha h -mac. and now we're going to combine all of these using uh, crypto map name it crypto map and sequence now is going to be 10 going to match address 100 that's our access list and we want to set the peer to be uh 192.1.1.254 and we want to set uh ic v1 transform set yes site to site and now we have to enable these on outside interface okay so let's just change the name to be a uh, gateway that should be gateway c so now let's configure the checkpoint side on smart console okay the first thing we have to do is to add gateway c and we click on new more uh, network object more interoperable device and we're going to name it gateway c and the ip should be 192.13.254 and let me select another color orange and that should be okay and now we get to vpn communities and we'll create a new meshed community and we'll name it um site to site site um site a site c and let's change the color to orange and you select the gateway this is going to be gateway a and gateway c and we want to use for encryption the same parameters we use on asa so encryption algorithm aes was uh 128 uh sha was sha one and group was group two and the same for uh phase two but that's okay now we have to type the uh the secret your secret is going to be b c i e six five seven four five and press okay and for advanced uh we want to disable that inside the vpn community and everything else we're going to leave default and we're going to proceed yes and now we have to add the policy for this one so we're going to 
copy and paste below just just change small things so it's going to be between site a and site c and the network is going to be uh actually we have to add the network for site c so it's 192 168 and that's orange 192.168.30 and that should be okay and we want to remove four from here and we're going to add three as a destination and we want to change this vpn community and select the one we just created and everything else looks okay and we have to create the non-nat object for this as well so take a look what do we have here so we can just add uh site c network on this object okay and that should be done and now uh, i believe there is one thing missing let me confirm uh, we need to confirm the VPN domain for Gateway C. So it has to be 192.168.3. Okay, that word was missing. Okay, 192.168.3.0 and 1.0. Okay, looks okay now. So let's install the policy. Okay, it was installed successfully, so now uh, let's try to tell Matt to, I believe, router 7. 192.168.3.7. Okay. Okay, it's working. And we can confirm this on logs as well. If we refresh to see the latest logs, we can see traffic from 13 to 37 is being encrypted on the VPN. So that's it, guys. Uh, site to site VPN between Checkpoint and Cisco ASA. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.